Well, howdy folks, and welcome to this episode of Vern's Misadventures. I recently installed an update, uh, 10.15.7, in my Mac OS Catalina. And then, uh, of course, as soon as the computer restarted, guess what? No sound. So, let me show you how I fixed it. Okay, so I installed the update, which is, let me see here, it's Mac. it is 10.15.7, and then my sound didn't work anymore, so I went over here, I tried to click the volume control, and it was all grayed out, went into settings, or preferences rather, go over here, you check your sound, and none of this was here it just said there was no sound devices attached or whatever right so i had issues for sure so let me show you how i fixed it okay so i used a program called clover configurator now if you have a hackintosh i'd be surprised if you've never heard of this or never used it so anyway i opened up clover configurator and first thing it did was prompt me to update it. So I updated it, and this is the version I have right now. It is 5.17.4.3. Okay. So the next thing to do here is to go ahead and mount your EFI. So over here in the left column, where it's darker, uh, under Tools, you click Mount EFI. Now you're going to select the EFI that pertains to the Catalina disk which is this one in my case so you click mount and you gotta put in your password alright once it's mounted you have the options to either unmount the partition or to open the partition let's open it up and if we look here you see that we have EFI so let's dig down into that now there is our clover and that's where your updates will go now listen here before you start messing with it would not be a bad idea to just make a quick copy of it right so just drag that off to the desktop that way you know where it is and you've got a copy of your clover another thing you can do what you should do before you mess with any of this is make sure you have an alternate way to boot your system now in my case I have my installation USB well, which I created using Unibeast off of the Tony Mac x86 site. If you take and install it, let me go ahead and plug it in here. There it is. So you see how it popped up on the screen there. So if you take and use that, then you can boot your computer selected in your boot choices there through your BIOS. And you can boot with the USB and then it'll bring up a Clover menu and you can choose to boot your in already installed Mac OS Catalina. Now that worked for me when I screwed mine all up. So rather than going into a long old story about how I messed mine up and how I had to do fix all that, I just covered those two things about how you can recover from that and also how you can. So what you would do if you were to screw this up to where it wouldn't boot anymore, you'd boot in with your installation, select Mac OS Catalina. Then you could mount your EFI partition using the Clover Configurator, right? Then you open the partition. Then you can take the one, you dig down. You take the Clover that you screwed all up, right? And you just move that right to trash. And then you could put the working one back in here. And you'd be back to a bootable system, even though your sound still wouldn't work. So let me show you how you fix the sound. Now that I've danced around the pool long enough. So we open up Clover and then we open up the kexts, right? So under the kex folder you'll see that there's a 1015 and that was created when I updated my kex after installing this update. So let me show you the ones that I updated. Now Apple ALC, now that's your audio, right? But it has dependencies. You gotta have the latest version of Lilu and you also need the latest version of whatever green 
And while I was at it, I updated Virtual SMC. So when I updated Virtual SMC, it gave me a couple choices, and some were for looked like they were for laptops. Basically, it's power management, and uh, I don't remember off the top of my head anymore. The point is, I chose only the processor and the Super I/O. There were a couple other choices. I don't remember what they were at this time, but those are the ones that I chose. So those are the those are the kicks I updated. I'll show you how you update those kicks. So we'll put this where we can see it. And we'll move this over a little bit so we can still see that. Alright, that'll work. It'll work. So what you do is you come down here under your uh, tools in your Clover configurator, right? And you go to the Kext installer. And at the top here, you'll see it says partition, EFI, blah, blah, blah. You want to select the proper version of your OS, so you put 1015, right? And as you can see, these are the kecks that I installed, which I just showed you under 1015. Now, if you go through this list here, right, you would go through and you would select the ones here that I'm showing you. You, you do the Apple ALC, so you check that, and then your Lilu check that uh, virtual SMC so you check that and whatever green right I think that's everything um, I didn't have any other issues with my machine and I learned the hard way as I said I, I made mine completely unbootable playing around too many things at once so I've just decided you know what if it works I'm not gonna fix it so there you go so those are all you'll need to do to get your sound working again, right? At least that's all I had to mess with. So you see how you have them checked? Then all you do is you click the download, right? And you download that and that will download the latest update, updated uh, Kex there into your 1015 folder like mine is there, right here. And, that, and that's pretty much it. Once I, I did that and rebooted, it worked. My sound came back. So let's go through the drivers because I think I might have, I'm pretty sure I updated my drivers as well. So what you'll do is you want to make sure to stay away from this. This will break your system faster than you can say what just happened. So uh, stay away from the drivers BIOS 64-bit, right? You don't want any part of that if you're using UEFI. You just want just, just use the UEFI. And then look here where it says a little installed. You got the little green dot there. So you could select, like you already have this one, right? And you just want the latest version. And then go to all the ones that are, have a green dot and you could check that. Then you can download that and get the latest version of the drivers, okay? Uh, I did that too and I didn't fix it all by itself. So also you have to do the Kex. And I think the Kex is the biggest thing. So if I was you, here's what I would do. I would do the Kex and try it. If it's fixed, leave it alone. There's no reason to break it, right? If that didn't fix it, go ahead and do it. Repeat the process and go ahead and update the, the drivers and see if you need to do that, okay? Uh, that's how I would proceed. But that's my advice to you and how you can fix your sound on macOS Catalina on Hackintosh. All right, guys. If you have any questions, go ahead and make sure you post them and any other comments about the video are always welcome. With that, I'm going to go ahead and close out. Thanks for watching. Y'all take care.